let's go to the presentation straight away so uh, acute lymphoblastic leukemia is the most common leukemia and cancer in the children so at uh, the mean age of occurrence is usually around 4 years so uh, average age of onset is 4 years that is the hallmark of acute uh, lymphoblastic leukemia and majority of these cases do occur before 15 year of age so uh, some of uh, the cases do occur in the adolescent uh, and even adults also and uh, the leukemic cells could be b lymphoblast or t lymphoblast so majority of uh, the leukemic uh, cells are of b cell type so b all is the predominant form and t cell all can also be seen and the t cell all is usually seen in adolescent uh, individuals and uh, it usually presents as a thymic neoplasm as a thymic lymphoma coming to the immunological classification of AML, all so it could, the b cell all is divided into early b pre b pre b and mature pre uh, b all of these uh, types they differ in certain immunological characteristic the most important one is the tdt or terminal deoxynucleotide transferase uh, it's a kind of an enzyme and that is present in the leukemic class early pre b and pre b it is present whereas the mature b uh, you need to remember that it is absent and uh, one of the other key difference that uh, you should note and that is commonly asked in your exams is the presence of immunoglobulin type so cytoplasmic immunoglobulin type is present only in pre b type whereas the surface immunoglobulin type is present in mature b type apart from that uh, the color antigen the cd10 is present in all the forms uh, primarily the early pre b and pre b uh, they must have this cd10 or color antigen and uh, mature b uh, cell uh, all may or may not have the presence of cd10 T cell ALL, on the other hand, they have uh, TDT positivity and other T cell markers like CD2, CD3, and CD7 are very well demonstrated. So, some insights uh, regarding the different uh, types of uh, ALL. Early PB uh, ALL are positive for color antigen, as we discussed. It is the most common type of ALL seen primarily in the children. Whereas the mature B cell ALL, uh, on the other half, there is a surface immunoglobulin positivity. And another important feature is that here the blasts that are, uh, are morphologically of L3 type and that are equivalent to the leukemic form of Burkitt lymphoma, a high grade lymphoma that is Burkitt lymphoma. So the L3 blasts differ from the most common L1 blast uh, by the presence of uh, cytoplasmic vacuolation. So that is the differentiating feature from L1. And uh, these are uh, said to be the leukemic form of Burkitt lymphoma. The T cell ALL, uh, here, uh, as we discussed that uh, uh, CD1, 2, 5, and 7 TDT are positive, And the color antigen or CD10 is negative over here. And the important thing that is often being asked in your vignettes is that it presents as a mediastinal mass or leukemia in a young adolescent male. So it presents as a mediastinal mass or often it uh, uh, disseminates as a leukemic, the leukemic cells disseminates in the peripheral blood or it may present uh, in, uh, it may infiltrate various other tissues as well. So coming to the pathogenesis, the B cell ALL, there are diverse uh, chromosomal translocations. Uh, T1221 is one of the common one. And it involves the RUNX1 gene and ETB6 uh, gene translocation. The other features that could be seen are hyperdiploidy, hypodiploidy, and translocation uh, 922 Philadelphia chromosome that leads to BCR ABL protein. Uh, that, is, uh, that is usually of 190 uh, KDA uh, size, and uh, that is having a very strong tyrosine kinase activity. So, uh, as we all know that uh, translocation 922 or Philadelphia chromosome is present in chronic myeloid leukemia, but there is uh, 210 KDA uh, that is seen over there. So the tyrosine kinase that is expressed in ALL is much stronger uh, 
than compared to that of CML. T cell ALL uh, mutations involving the notch one gene is present in many of the patients. This you need to remember. So uh, all these markers, 12, 21, and, and uh, this hyperdiploidy, hyperdiploidy, 922, Philadelphia, notch one gene. These are the important things that you need to remember. And these are often being asked in your variants and your options. So coming to the salient lab findings that we'll discuss that may be of uh, use, that may be really useful to you in various MCQs. Uh, so ALL, uh, the lab findings are as such the same as that of AML, whereas the CBC will show normocytic normochromic anemia. WBC count will range uh, between 10,000 to 100,000 per uh, cubic millimeter. And the lymphoblasts are predominant uh, cell type. And uh, majority of them, they are positive for TDT. And PAS10, PAS10 or PAS10 will show ring positivity. That is a characteristic feature. And the MPO and all that uh, will be negative, which is uh, positive in myeloblast. Uh, that will be negative over here in uh, lymphoblast. Severe, uh, moderate to severe thrombocytopenia is quite characteristic of uh, ALL. So it, it, it is uh, usually of more severe type compared to that of uh, the AML. Bone marrow examination, uh, you'll see uh, bone marrow packed with lymphoblast. And the criteria for uh, the diagnosis, more than 20% lymphoblasts in bone marrow that are being uh, that is being uh, retained in ALL as well as uh, we had seen in AML also. So uh, in context uh, to this, if it is uh, mo more than 20% uh, lymphoblasts in bone marrow as well as peripheral blood, we call it as leukemic leukemia. If more than 20% lymphoblasts in bone marrow, uh, but not in uh, peripheral blast, they are less than 20%, we call it as subleukemic leukemia. And if uh, there is uh, more than 20% blast in the bone marrow that is retained, but uh, the peripheral blood is devoid of any blast cells, we call it as a leukemic leukemia. So leukemic leukemia, subleukemic leukemia, and a leukemic leukemia, these are uh, the different terminologies that are being used in this uh, context. Uh, and that uh, this terminology is used according to the uh, Infoblast that is present in peripheral blood. So coming to the morphology of lymphoblasts. So lymphoblasts are having condensed nuclear chromatin, scant uh, cytoplasm. So this is very important and this is a differentiating feature from myeloblast in which you will see uh, the, uh, the cytoplasm be uh, mild to moderate, moderate uh, cytoplasm. Whereas here it is very scanty, a rim of cytoplasm is usually seen, you can see over here. So a very high N by C ratio is there. And also the nuclear chromatin is condensed, whereas it is more of open and diffuse chromatin pattern in, in myeloblast. And uh, TDT and PAS is uh, positive as we had discussed. And ORROT should be absolutely absent. And uh, MPO and Sudan black, which are characteristically positive in myeloblast uh, are negative over here. And uh, as we discussed in case of L3, uh, you may see some cytoplasmic vacuoles that is of uh, a lymphoblast L3 type in which you may see some cytoplasmic vacuoles scattered in the cytoplasm. And the nuclear contour also is usually round uh, and L2 uh, type of lymphoblast may show a little bit of indentation and irregular nuclei irregular nuclear contour may be seen in L2 type of lymphoblast. So just remember this condensed nuclear chromatin, scanned cytoplasm, PES, and TDT positive. These are the important points that you need to remember for your solving your MCQ points. And these are often being asked. So signs and symptoms include weakness, pallor, fatigue, infections owing to uh, severe neutropenia, and uh, there is easy bleeding and uh, bruising, and then depends upon the platelet concentration, whether it is mild, moderate, or severe uh, thrombocytopenia. Bone pain is seen due to infiltration of periosteum. And some uh, uh, some common uh, some features of ALL, which are a bit peculiar to ALL, and that distinguishes it from other malignancies, uh, particularly the AML. 
so BALL commonly metastasized to testicles and C, uh, CLS. So metastasis to testes and CNS. So whenever you, your question says that testicular involvement and CNS involvement is there in a young child, so think that uh, you are dealing with ALL. It may be present as the initial finding or it may present as the relapse of uh, the treated ALL patient. And uh, so there may be testicular enlargement, CNS manifestations like inquiries, so ICT, space occupying lesion, nerve palsies, various nerve, multiple nerve palsies may be seen. TALL often presents as a mediastinal mass uh, with a thymic lymphoma, or it pr may present as an acute leukemia in younger males. So coming to the frequency of leukemia by age of bracket, this is a very important uh, uh, table to remember. And certain uh, these, uh, if you remember this, you will be able to solve many of your questions just by seeing uh, the age, most common age group affected. So uh, you want to 14 year, uh, usually the ALL, uh, usually the BALL, and the important to remember that the T cell ALL are present in the adults and even adult individuals, and they present as mediastinal mass. Whereas AML uh, is seen in 15 to 39 most commonly, and in 14 to 60 year age group, we may also see AML, and uh, CML is also a common uh, malignancy in this age group. Whereas uh, more than 60, uh, you have exclusively CL. So remembering uh, these uh, important age groups help you in solving many of your FQs. Now, these are the prognostic features of ALL are often being asked. These are very important high yield points. So please pay attention. Uh, immunophenotype, early pre V uh, cell is having a favorable prognosis, whereas unfavorable type, mature B cell and T cell uh, type having unfavorable prognosis and uh, the other categories are having intermediate prognosis. Lymphocytosis uh, is have less than uh, 10,000 being favorable and more than 50,000 being unfavorable and uh, between 10,000 to 50,000 is having intermediate prognosis. Chromosomal change uh, like hyperdiploidy and transformation 1221 confers a good prognosis whereas Philadelphia chromosome confers a bad prognosis overall due to, owing to high proliferation, high tyrosine kinase activity, very strong tyrosine kinase activity in ALL patients. Two to 10 years, uh, we have a good prognosis and less than two or more than uh, 10, that is extreme age group having unfavorable prognosis. Female sex is having usually a better prognosis compared to that of male child. Coming to the treatment. So treatment includes uh, aggressive chemotherapy may achieve remission in many, uh, but only one third gets completely cured, relapse can occur. Allogenic uh, bone marrow transplantation is used for poor risk ALL patients. So uh, this is all uh, about ALL in brief. And uh, we learned that ALL is a childhood uh, cancer. ALL uh, presence, uh, the hallmark of ALL is the presence of lymphoblast most commonly the B lymphoblast and sometimes T lymphoblast uh, can also be seen, which usually presents as mediastinal mass, mediastinal lymphoma. And uh, the features of uh, clinical features of ALL is that of uh, general features of acute leukemia with some specific features like uh, CNS uh, involvement, testicular involvement are commonly seen in uh, B ALL and T ALL presenting with mediastinal mass. So these are the important things that you need to remember. So thank you all for your uh, patient uh, hearing and uh, please subscribe to the channel and comment on the video and uh, see you all in the next uh, presentation very soon.